The main takeaways, the main observations from our work was the, the fact that gram-negative pathogens such as um, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, E. coli, they were actually more common in the skin infection arena, and I'll expand on that in a moment, um, than, than expected. Everyone seems to think and believe that gram positives, such as Staph aureus, of either MR or MSSA, um, group A strep, those are the things that people associate with skin infections. However, we looked at different categories of skin infection, abscess, cellulitis, wound, uh, and saw a remarkably high incidence of gram negatives. As I say, the organisms I've just mentioned, often in mix in a combination with the Staph aureus. So if you believe the gram positive only story, you will miss the appropriate treatment of the gram negatives. And those gram negatives lead to bad outcomes. The driving reason behind uh, inappropriate treatment of gram negative infections is that frequently, because of the assumption of gram positives, vancomycin is the opening drug of choice. Well, clearly that won't work against the gram negatives. So until you know, that, that drug will be given empirically, and in the percentage of patients, which is about 40% of cases in our, our study, about 40% had some gram-negative involvement. So therefore, vancomycin alone is, is an inappropriate therapy. Um, what would probably be best, if you can identify those patient types, is to give combination therapy until you get the lab results.